Hi, I'm Tony from the Australian Window Association. Today, we're going to be installing a UPVC window into lightweight or clad construction. Tools we need include a spirit level, a tape measure, hammer, chisel, staple gun, utility knife, drill, impact driver, snips. There are a few things we will need. Fixing screws, either stainless steel or galvanised. Packers, like the one shown here, or you may prefer to use timber wedges. Tape. We also need some flashing. There are a number of different types. Flashing and weatherproofing of the opening is probably the most important part of the installation process, and is particularly important in high wind and exposed locations. The seal flashing is fitted to the bottom of the window and extends on either side at least 150mm. The jam flashing should be at least 150mm wide and attached to both sides of the window, starting 150mm above the window and continues down to overlap the sill flashing. Where the top of the window is not protected by the eaves, it will be necessary to fit a head flashing. The head flashing should be fixed to the wall frame or into the internal brickwork above the window and extend outward to cover the head of the window and overlap the jam flashing on each side. This principle of overlap is important as it should provide that at each transition water is directed outward onto the element below so that any water that penetrates the outer skin of the structure is directed out and away. Many window suppliers can pre-fit flashings, so remember to ask when ordering your windows if this is an option. The first thing we need to do is to check the window opening to make sure the window is the right size. The opening should be about 20mm bigger in height and width than the overall size of the window, including the reveal. Using the level, check the opening is reasonably level and plumb. Next we need to install the sarking. Feel for the opening from the outside. At the head, we cut the sarking off flush with the opening. Cut about 100mm in from the stud and cut the corners at 45 degrees. Now fold seal and jams back in like this and staple in place. Pre-drill the window reveal for the fixing screws. Position the window roughly in the centre of the opening and level the seal using packers. Line the internal side of the reveal to project inward to suit the wall lining, usually either plasterboard or fibre cement in wet areas. In most cases, this will be 10mm, but check if thicker lining is being used, as this may affect where the window needs to sit. I'm using a piece of 12mm ply to allow for glue and setting materials. Fix the top corners in place. Check jams are plumb using your level and adjust window position as necessary to make sure the window is plumb, level and square with even clearances around the sash. It may take a few goes to get it right, but it's important, so take your time. Once you're happy the window is sitting right, fix off the rest of the window using screws or nails with a gauge and spacing appropriate for the wind load. As a final check, open and close the window a few times to make sure the window and the lock are operating correctly. This window came with no seal flashing attached, so it must be fitted. In this case, we'll use tape to seal the flashing to the bottom of the window. Note that it extends at least 150mm on either side. The bottom of the flashing needs to come out through the cladding, but if the type of cladding you are using does not allow for this, for example blueboard, the flashing should go right down to the floor level. Fit the jam flashing on either side of the window, starting 150mm above and overlapping onto the seal flashing. The jam flashing should be at least 150mm wide and sealed to the window. Where the top of the window is not protected by the eaves, it is necessary to fit a head flashing. When it comes to head flashing in clad construction, I prefer to use a pressed metal Z flashing. This one I had pressed up and cut and folded the ends using this detail. The head flashing should go behind the sarking, so we will need to cut a slit 150mm out from each side of the window to tuck it under. You will notice that the head flashing sits on top of the jam flashing and the jam flashing overlaps the seal flashing. There are quite a few different types of cladding used nowadays and each type will need a slightly different approach. The most common variety is a shiplap, like we're using here today, vinyl or composite boards or fibre cement sheeting. 
You should follow the manufacturer's details for each. Seal flashing should be laid into the cladding joints roughly two rows or up to 300 millimetres below the window. In this video we've modified the boards to allow for the flashing to drain two rows below the sill yet still look unobtrusive. This will vary with the different types of cladding used. Once the cladding is fixed in place, the excess can be trimmed. It is important when fitting the cladding up to the jams that the cladding is positioned closely to the window frame but do not push on the frame to create a bow. Ideally, we should allow a few millimetres clearance. Gaps should be corked using a paintable, flexible sealant. Well that's it for this video. Check out the other videos in this series for information on installing other window types. Thanks for watching.